we will be starting our next topic that is full asset man asset management okay uh, before getting into this topic uh, uh, if you like my channel kindly subscribe to my channel okay. so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see what is full asset management, asset management okay full asset man asset management over you then full asset management flow what is the flow we will see the flow in detail then how to create demand for an asset okay like equipment in our case it is a asset means equipment how to create a demand okay how to do planning with graphical planning board we will see then how the asset is issued asset issued and the when, what activities are performed when the asset is returned okay settlement of the demand how the demand is settled repair measures repair measures and finally configuration settings for full asset management so these are the topics we will be covering in the full asset management okay so first we'll start with the uh, introduction to full asset man asset management so here we will understand uh, what is full asset management okay so full asset management full asset management allows an organization to manage its full assets using a graphical planning board so basically let's say in your company let's say you have 20 trucks 20 trucks okay you want to manage them as a pool okay so let's say uh, suddenly from that pool out of those 20 trucks you need a truck okay so you 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 are using the truck for a particular purpose and the truck already uh, went outside to deliver the goods okay now as a planner planner should know that the truck is already uh, on on its way okay so when let's say now he needs another truck so he should be able to pick up another truck from the remaining 19 trucks okay so if that kind of uh, functionality is required then that is managed through this pool asset management okay so you will have a pool of assets from that you will be doing the planning activity you can use this business function to manage your physical assets which you have collected into a pool so you collect all your assets into a pool which i will show it in the system examples of pool assets can be vehicles beamers laptops etc okay you can control and oversee the use of your pool assets from the requirement coverage request via the output to the return and the termination of the activity by using a capacity planning table so here we have a planning table a graphical planning table where you will do all the activities which i will show it in the system okay these pool assets can be used jointly and removed from the pool for a certain period of time this is also possible okay you can control and monitor the use of your pool assets from the requirement coverage request through issue to return and settlement of the service so basically you create a request for an asset okay from the pool okay then the you will is issue that asset for the request and once the activity is completed that asset is returned and then the settlement so all these things are done using this pool asset management which i, I will show it in the system okay so what are the steps in pool asset management so these are the steps okay so first you will create a requirement you will create a requirement in the system suppose let's say you have 20 vehicles as a pool so let's say you need a vehicle so then you will be creating a requirement first step requester creates a vehicle requirement in the system okay now step two vehicle scheduling fleet manager assigns the requirement to a vehicle so once the requirement is created the the scheduler or the planner or fleet manager assigns that particular requirement to a vehicle which is in the pool okay next step three automatic confirmation of booking so requester receives confirmation by email so once the uh, requirement is assigned to the vehicle the requester will 
receive a confirmation okay next step four vehicle issue so now uh, as the requirement is there the fleet manager will issue the vehicle issue the vehicle so during that time the mileage and time of the issue are entered so now once the vehicle goes for a dispatch of the product or for any other function once it is completed vehicle will be returned so vehicle is returned step five okay so once the vehicle is returned its mileage and time of return are entered in the system okay and after that cost allocation cost allocation so what is the cost incurred for this activity all those things settlement everything will happen step six final step so this process flow from creation of requirement to the uh, settlement we will see it in the system how to execute this flow what are the prerequisites required what master data we need to create what configuration data we need to do everything we will see it in the system so these are the process steps basically okay so now so basically the the steps are here is this one using pool asset management first you will create a demand request so when you create a request it will create a notification in the system then you will schedule a pool asset request you will schedule it that request and reserve a pool asset basically you reserve a vehicle or an asset then planning with graphical planning board then there will be a planning activity using this graphical planning board this i will show it in the system then you will issue the pool uh, pool asset you issue the vehicle let's say in our case and once the activity is completed that vehicle is returned okay and after that settlement okay so to do these steps a graphical planning board is available for these activities so sap has come up with a planning board okay which is available through this t code pam03 i'll show you this in the system so before uh, going into the system we need to understand prerequisites for pool asset management okay so basically the prerequisites are first a functional location is created and all pooled equipments are installed at functional location so let's say you have 20 vehicles you want to pool them so what you have to do is you have to create a functional location and you need to assign your vehicles or your equipments to that functional location so you are just pulling them pulling them basically now once it is done a pool of vehicle is created using the transaction code pam01 and the functional location is assigned to this pool so you create a pool of vehicles and you will assign that functional location to that pool for which the functional location for which the vehicles are assigned i will show you this in the system okay equipment created as pool asset must have a measuring point assigned for odometer reading and pam category assigned in equipment characteristics so it, the equipment should have some measuring points i will show you this in the system and all the prerequisites required configurations are done in the system for pam this i will show it at the end okay so basically you need to uh, have the vehicles equipments assigned to a functional location okay so this i will show it in the system let me log into the system now okay i have logged on to the system so what i will do i'll just uh, go to a functional location okay i'll enter this functional location it is f fp01 okay so i'll select equipment installed equipment hierarchy execute so if you see here for this functional location these many vehicles are assigned all these are vehicles you see uni iphone 00 so around 20 21 vehicles are assigned to this functional location okay so you are pulling these 21 vehicles into this functional location okay so so let me so i'll open one more session okay now let me go to a equipment ie03 sorry ie03 ie03 i'll show you the one of the equipment okay hmm. 
one of the equipment is uni hyphen zero zero okay so i e zero three u n i hyphen zero zero just let me show you this equipment so this is a vehicle this is a fleet equipment basically okay so this is a fleet equipment equipment this is its description okay and its vehicle type it's a truck it's a truck okay and its manufacturer its country model all those things we have as it is a fleet equipment you have the extra fields extra tabs which we have discussed in our fleet management topic vehicle type its license plate and its weight load volume height all those things we have it here we have it here okay and also if you go to the next tab technology here you have engine serial number engine type engine type is diesel engine type is diesel all those things we have all those things we have okay so basically we create first equipment and these equipments are clubbed into a are clubbed into a, uh, a pool pool basically assigned to a functional location assigned to this functional location so this is the one if you see here this is the one okay the one which i showed you just now so 21 vehicles are assigned to a functional location now this functional location will be assigned to a pool okay so now let me show you okay suppose if i go to maintain pool okay i'll create a pool you can create a pool already we have some pools okay suppose if you take this pool pam hyphen wdf if you take this pool if i click on continue you see the functional location fp01 is assigned to this pool is assigned to this pool okay so this we have to do this we have to do so to do this what you need to do is simple 